these lung cancer warning signs might save a life. Your lungs are like your body's own air purifiers, taking in the good stuff and getting rid of the bad. But what happens when something goes wrong? Did you know you can actually tell when your body's sending you an important message and catching red flags before they turn into life-threatening issues? We'll be uncovering about all this so you can catch potential issues before it's too late. Persistent coughing. Picture this. You're enjoying a movie night with friends, but there's this annoying cough that just won't go away. Sure, a cold can cause coughing, But if it's been hanging around for weeks, it might be your lungs waving a red flag. You see, lung cancer can irritate the airways, leading to chronic coughing. Your lungs are smart, and they're trying to clear out something that's not right. Ignoring it could mean missing an early warning sign that could save your life. Finger clubbing. Hold up your hands and take a look at your fingers. If the tips of your fingers start to get larger and your nails curve around them, it's called finger clubbing and a common association with lung cancer that could be connected to the way cancer affects the body's circulation and immune response. Although finger clubbing might sound like a mysterious club you didn't sign up for, it's a reminder to pay attention to the small, unusual changes happening in your body to detect and diagnose early as lung cancer spreads rapidly and costs lives. Shortness of breath. Huffing and puffing after climbing a flight of stairs. We all feel that way sometimes. But if you notice shortness of breath during everyday activities that never used to leave you winded, it's worth paying attention to. Lung cancer can cause blockages or inflammation in the airways, making it hard for air to flow. The body is signaling that it needs more oxygen and it's time to listen up. Don't brush off the huffing and puffing since it could be your body's way of telling you something's not quite right in your lungs. Fatigue and weakness. We all have those days when we're tired, but if you're often feeling exhausted, even after a good night's sleep and simple tasks leave you wiped out, it's time to pay attention as lung cancer can mess with your body's energy levels. Why does this happen? Lung cancer cells are notorious for their rapid growth and division. As they multiply, they demand more resources from your body, including nutrients and oxygen. This creates a metabolic imbalance, sort of like a traffic jam, where resources can't flow smoothly to where they're needed. Instead of pushing through the fatigue, consider it a nudge from your lungs to take a closer look at what's going on inside. Coughing up blood. I know this is a bit of a scary one, but if you suddenly notice blood in your phlegm when you cough, it's a big deal. Your lungs are lined with delicate tissues, and coughing up blood could indicate that something is damaging them. It might not always be lung cancer since infections or other conditions can cause this too, but it's crucial not to brush it off. Think of it as your body's emergency alert system, signaling that it's time for a medical professional to step in and figure out what's happening. Chest pain. That sharp pain from our chest is something we're often told not to ignore, and for good reason. Sometimes lung cancer can cause discomfort or pain in your chest, shoulders, or back. Your lungs are nestled in your chest, and any unusual activity there could be a sign that something's not quite right. Now, chest pain doesn't automatically mean lung cancer, as it could be due to various reasons. But if it's persistent, or doesn't have any obvious cause like an injury, your body could be signaling something's going on and needs to get it checked out. Family history and genetics. Ever heard the saying, family traits run in the genes? Well, when it comes to lung cancer, there's some truth to it. If you have a family history of lung cancer or other related cancers, your risk might be higher. Genetics can play a role in how our bodies function and how they might respond to potential threats. Your family tree is like a storybook of potential health clues. So, if your family's health history has some lung-related chapters, it's a sign that you should be extra mindful of any lung-related changes in your body. Trouble swallowing. Imagine this scenario. You're enjoying your favorite meal, 
but suddenly you find it hard to swallow, almost like there's a roadblock in your throat. Trouble swallowing, also known as dysphagia, might seem unrelated to your lungs, but it can sometimes be a sign of lung cancer. That's because tumors can press against the esophagus, making it difficult for food to pass through, and your body is signaling there's something in the way. It's like a traffic jam on your body's highway, and your lungs might be the ones that are causing the detour. Hoarseness or voice changes. Have you ever heard someone describe their voice as raspy when they're sick? Well, if your voice starts to sound noticeably different and there's no cold or flu to blame, it's worth investigating. Lung cancer can affect the nerves that control your vocal cords, leading to hoarseness or other changes in your voice. It's like your vocal cords are waving a tiny flag signaling something's up, and it's not just a scratchy throat. Don't ignore the vocal changes happening in your throat. It could be your lungs trying to share an important message. Unexplained weight loss. Losing a few pounds can be exciting, especially if you've been working towards it. But what if the scale drops without you even trying? Unexplained weight loss could be a sign that your body is fighting something unexpected. With lung cancer, your body might burn more calories as it battles the abnormal cells. It's like your body's inner functioning going into overdrive. So if the numbers on the scale are dropping without you intentionally changing your habits, it's time to consider what your lungs might be trying to tell you. Recurring infections. Think about your lungs as the bouncers at a club, and they're in charge of making sure no unwanted guests like germs get inside. But if you find yourself battling frequent respiratory infections like pneumonia or bronchitis, it might be a sign that your lung's defense system is struggling since lung cancer can weaken your immune system's response, making it easier for infections to take hold. Your immune system is like a defense team, and if they're losing the battle, it's time to call in reinforcements of a doctor to figure out why. Our bodies are amazing at sending us signals when something's off, and our lungs are no exception. Remember, early detection is like giving your body a head start in fighting any potential threats, so don't ignore the importance of detecting these early signs of lung cancer. If you've learned a thing or two about lung cancer signs and symptoms for early detection, you'll also want to check out our other helpful videos. We'll see you there.